Hey guys, welcome to the DJ Academy TV with me, Tom Noise. Today we are in music room and maybe you know this guy next to me. His name is Zajaza or as maybe you know him, Trey French. Hi Trey, how are you? How are you? Good and you? Yeah, so here we are today in music room because uh, there's a famous uh, DJ coming to town and you're doing the opening for him. So tell me something about tonight. It's, it's a kind of uh, Latin night because this guy has a strong Colombian influence. So we're gonna play a little bit of Latin funk, Latin hip hop. There is a cumbia band also, and then there is uh, Quantic from uh, New York, but we say sometimes from Colombia also. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, how is the culture of vinyls and turntables in Dubai? Uh, I think it's not very developed. Uh, there is a lot of people that are in interested into it, but when we bring turntable on stage, it looks new for the the crowd even if that's a little bit the origin of DJing. So I think it's, uh, it's coming back because of the sound, uh, the graphism, and uh, maybe for the DJs, the feeling of DJing on turntables, it's a little bit more organic. So uh, I think so, I think so. I think it's coming back, yeah. By the way, we are doing a workshop on uh, October 3rd at the DJ Academy, a, a workshop about playing on vinyl, uh, DJing, cutting, scratching, also sampling vinyl. So we're gonna talk about the culture, how they started on vinyl, and uh, we're gonna show a little demonstration on how it is to mix on vinyl. You know, it's, uh, it's the first way of DJing, and uh, it's still a very fun way to DJ. So I want to show that to the people, yeah. <laughs> Body. Now stop, move your mind Cause in this space and time There are more than Jews out there to shine I mean, hold it down Stop This is, um, yeah, my second time I was here to play in an apartment uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, eight years ago Seven, eight years ago Yeah, you know, I was making music in the UK uh, At that time And then a couple of years afterwards I moved to Colombia and uh, began working on music in Colombia. I lived in Colombia for seven years and I recently moved to, uh, to New York. And over that space maybe worked on, I don't know, seven records, uh, full length records. So it's been, uh, yeah, I've been a busy time, but always, you know, my job is to make new music, make interesting music and a variety. I try and give a diverse output and make sure that people can encounter yeah, new, new experiences through my music. It's the unfeasible, first feature form, a great A pass, a rap reform school, a speakable asset, leave crews disgrace. In fact, you can't rap too late to save face. Out back, drop cat in pigeonholes, break the most, let by the unoriginal. You come out and call me a mechanical Hannibal planning, but I'm the kind of You know, for me, the, the vinyl format is the optimum format. It's a beautiful sounding format. It's uh, just the way it's engineered and thought out, the way, you know, I, I cut a lot of records myself and I, the, the whole system of how it works is is just incredible. It's like, so I really try and prioritize playing on vinyl, but also traveling. When you travel, you know, I'm on the road for four weeks, so I have a lot of music also on USB. It's about practicality too, so um, I also produce a lot of music on the road, so when I have a new beat, I can just put it on my USB and I can play it out. But uh, I really try and play high quality files and um, in the end it doesn't really matter what you play with but you just have to feel you know, like you're giving real music. Do you use uh, timecode systems too to play on vinyls? Yeah, I was uh, one, you know, I, I bought uh, when I was in New Zealand, like maybe 2000 and whenever it first came out, uh, I bought uh, Serato and I played with Serato for many years, it's fabulous, amazing ability and a lot of these timecode systems especially Serato because they were one, really the first to do it they did a wonderful thing which was they preserved the place of the turntable in the club because at that point people were starting using CDJs and really if Serato hadn't come in nobody would have turntables in clubs and today you can still go to a club and ask for a Technics 1210 or a, or a, you know PDX, Vestax, and they will be there in the club. And that's really testament to the fact that these kind of companies thought it out and they made 
sure that their systems worked with existing hardware. Um, I like it, but personally, I really moved away now uh, from having a laptop in a club. I, I don't like the visual element. I like to look at people, I like to listen, and having some kind of screen in front of me, for my personal taste, doesn't work. Do you plan your DJ sets or is going to be random today? I do plan, uh, you know, when I pack a box of records, I, I, I catalog it by BPM, by style, and I, I kind of, I, I know my records well, um, but often depends about energy in the room. Actually, like, uh, you know, I, some, I play very good sets, I might play bad sets, it's like, uh, it just depends. I mean, I really try and give it like a variety. I also um, I make music, so I play a lot of you know my own stuff as well. So yeah, it's, but I don't tend to really. I might have like one song I start with, but that's it. So. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now, I'm working on the new Flowering Inferno record, which is a reggae project. Uh, it's a third record in that series, and I'm just finishing that right now. You're not just the organizer, you're performing tonight, you're doing everything. Uh, it's a bit stressful, yeah? Uh, it's a little bit stressful, but if you look, you, the camera can't see behind behind you. It's, uh, it's going pretty well, so it's worth it just to see people have fun. We've been doing events like this, alternative events, for more than six years now. So we've brought a lot of people who'd never been to Dubai before, supporting a lot of music genres from funk to classic hip-hop to soul, and always supporting vinyl and turntablism and turntables. Like, I, I love digital DJing, but there's something about vinyl and even like DJing digital with Serato and vinyl that's amazing. So we're trying to push the culture, inspire the next generation hopefully to take it up. You know, so Jazza and I were very similar. Before, before he came, I was one of the only turntablists in the city. So for me, it's great to have somebody to be able to uh, like go back to back with. So finally, we've created a, a, group, a new group together to showcase turntablism in its purest form and to make music out of just turntables and create original concepts. So for this, you know, we didn't have much time, but we pulled it together in a few days and I think the crowd really enjoyed it. What comes after? Do you have the next plan for the next party? Yeah, we're, we're working on a few things. Uh, we're we're going to bring uh, some more international artists, some hip-hop artists. Um, I don't want to reveal too much, so I won't, let the, I won't let the secrets out, but we've got some good stuff coming up. When we say we get in around, at the walls of your city or town. Open arms and we're all getting down. You know what, Sean? Know about this global movement. When we say we get in If you have a message for future producers, future DJ, what would it be? Just make lots of music and tr try and finish everything. Yeah, the important thing to be a producer, and especially for young producers, is make, make your music heard, get your music out, value your music. Um, but your music also, I truly be believe that uh, the first people to, to really appreciate your music will be your friends and your family. And you know, make, share your music in person. Don't just share it on the internet, but share it with people. Bring your music to DJs. This is about making bridges and making personal connections with people. And I've done that all my life. And I think that's really important. No matter how much you share on the internet and SoundCloud and all these things, there's nothing like coming and giving people music. And yeah, that's important. Yeah, so that was DJ Academy TV for this week from Music Room together with Quantic. Mr. Zajaza, as known as Trey French, and DJ Lobito. Hope you had fun. So, Trey, what do we have uh, next week? So, we have the Wheel of Vinyls. So, yeah, yeah we have a Wheel of Vinyl workshop on uh, October 3rd, so it's Saturday. And the day before, we have Meet and Mix on uh, the second on Friday. So, it's going to be a busy week. Yeah. yeah, cool. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our webpage too, www.dj-academy.ae. See you next week. Yeah, man, we're gonna dance now.
Bye.